Hi, my name is Dex from MyConsult and today we're we'll looking into how we can actually prevent users from keying transactions in particular months. Alright, so before we begin, do like and subscribe to be notified when we release new guides. So, the first thing we will need to do is actually to make sure that the user cannot override this feature. So to do this, we come to Tools here, Maintain User, and let's say we want to create this user for Dex, alright? So let's double click into it. Here we have more change to access control all right open this up bigger so come here to tools we need to make sure that user cannot select this feature where they actually can change the acceptable transaction date and we also need to make sure that they cannot override the acceptable transaction date here so once we're done we just make sure we press save all right so let's say once this is done we save now it's time for you to actually create the acceptable transaction date period so to do that, we come here to Tools here. Come here to Maintain Acceptable Transaction Date. Say we want to do for April 2022. So we press plus here. We can select here 01042022. Okay. And here is 30th April 2022. So only transactions within this date range are allowed. Alright. So once you're done, we just press save. Okay. So let's try now to see whether this feature works. So press file here, log on, change the user. Okay. So let's say I'm going to create a transaction, a sales invoice for 31st March. Come here to sales, come here to invoice. Let's press new. Let's select a customer. Let's change the date to 31st of March, 31st, 03. And then here we press here, item, just one item, so any item. So 5 ringgit, then press save. Alright. So once you press, this access design is prevented. Preventing me from actually saving the transaction. So of course, if I have a manager or supervisor that can help me to override, I just press override. Then they need their username and password. If I don't have, the system will not allow me to press save. Alright. Okay. So you see, I can't save the transaction. So this is actually how we can actually prevent different users from making unwanted changes in your SQL accounting. So it's that simple. Alright, so do let us know if you have a certain topic you would like us to cover. Thanks.